Hey pickers, welcome to this video, which is actually not a picking video, it's an experiment I'd like to share with you. Uh, and for this experiment I will use one of my uh, most unsecure locks, which is a Forel by Toya. I hope you can make this out. Come on. Forel by Toya. It's a Polish brand. Um, the key looks like that. And the lock works. But as I said, um, it's really, really unsecure, so I would not recommend you to take one of these locks for your home security. I will demonstrate it by using a rake. Apply light tension. And open. That's just one possibility. You can SPP this lock and you can also zip it, which uh, I will show you now. So just, just take your hook and touch all pins when pulling out the, um, the hook. So it's open again. And I turn it at a 180 degree. And what I want to do with this lock is I want to gut it, but I don't want to do it as I usually would do it. Usually I take a saw and uh, make a cut here to take those two uh, pieces away. Uh, and then I remove the, the clip and um, pull out the plug so that I can uh, get access to the driver pins. But then the lock is, is uh, destroyed and uh, I saw a video um, of a guy who had a professional disassembling tool for Euro cylinders and I thought I could make myself one of uh, such kind of tools and I take a windshield wiper that's just the remaining part of the windshield wiper uh, steel and uh, I made myself one of uh, these tools and you plug this, you push this tool here inside so that the pins are, um, are held in place. So now you can uh, remove the clip here and hopefully pull out the, the plug while the driver pins are pushed down by this metal thing and well then you can uh, pull this thing out and pin by pin um, take the pins out so that's what I want to try now so hold on I will remove the clip and we will see how that goes well back again but uh, you see the mess and this was not planned uh, it taught me an important lesson. The lesson is as follows. Uh, when you try to uh, disassemble a lock and you remove the clip, um, first pick the lock and then remove the clip. Do not uh, pick it after you remove the clip. Because that's what I did. Um, for any reason I, I locked it up again and then I removed the clip. Well, and then I um, raked it and when I uh, pulled out the, the rake, um, well the core came with the rake and everything fell out. But I will try my um, experiment on the on the second part of the lock and uh, before that I will just show you the the parts I, I got so far. So here's the, the plug, uh, very un looks very unusual. I believe that the, the, the lock is brand new when I um, I received it and I did nothing on that lock. So what you see here must be, well, part of the manufacturing process. I don't know. It's filed down and it's filed down in a very rough way. So it's not uh, 
perfectly um, um, flat. It's it's very rough here, and and um, I don't know why why they did it. And also those those grooves here are unusual. So this plug is is really ugly, and it of course explains why the lock is so so easy to open. Okay, let's have a look at the pins. Uh, I have one example here of a of a driver pin. Looks like this. It's also what not very nice. Looks like that it was uh, cut away from a long wire, so the ends are not flat. There's some kind of uh, rounded. Not so nice. Um, the key pins just look normal. And also the, the springs, springs are, are normal springs made of uh, brass, I guess. So let's look at the, at the housing. Uh, here we have a red uh, color inside. And I don't know if this is rust. Could be, I don't know. For rust it's uh, too, uh, too red. I would expect rust to be more brown, but some kind of corrosion, I don't know. Um, yeah. Well, I will try my best with the second part. So, hold on. All right, so this time um, I was um, I was luckier, and I I picked the other side, uh, removed the clip, and inserted my tool. So now I hope I can um, pull out the plug and got this thing uh, without messing around. All right, so I don't know how to. Pull out this plug. I use a rake, maybe. Okay, looks good. So at the top we have the the key pins. The held in place by gravity okay I'll bend this to give you a better view so that's how it looks okay On the other hand, I um, keep the, the tool in place. That's a very long plug. Oops. Oops, all right. So. Without messing around, I could uh, remove the plug. The key pins are still in place. Now again, we have this uh, weird uh, uh, filing attack that we can see here. Take this aside. Oops. Okay, that's not, uh, not a big deal. Just for correctness, I will again uh, insert the pins. All right, then let's take a closer look to the housing. Everything is as I expected. We see the, the tool that holds the the pins in place. Now I can remove a pin by pin. I don't know if I can do that on camera. So 
So, okay, first take this thing away. Then, okay, hold on, I will back just in a second. All right, back again. So everything is prepared now. I have a professional pinning tray, my super secure uh, lock, the housing of the super secure lock, and my professional um, Euro cylinder gutting uh, tool. And now let's start. I do it like that. I just uh, pull out this tool a little bit to to free the first pin or the last pin. Pin five. Next is pin four. Pin three, or no, pin two. Pin one. All right. Get the springs out of it. Adjust the camera a little bit to get a better view. Sorry. Maybe like that. Okay, where is the plug? Here we are. Just check that the pins are still in correct place. And again, uh, the plug is really ugly filed. And maybe they did it because it was made with a quite low precision since to to make the shear line some kind of flat, they defiled it. Uh, I don't know. All right, so for the sake of completeness, take away the, the key pins. And here we are. So that's how the pinning looks like. All right, and what's more important, lock is um, not um, not not destroyed. It's uh, completely intact, and if I like, I can just um, do what I did in reverse order and. Um, reassemble it. All right, so let's try that, or let me try that, and we will see if this works. See you. All right, so this is an intermediate uh, state of my reassembling um, process. Uh, three pins are already um, held in place. What I did is I uh, inserted the springs, then I took my tweezers to Push the pins in, and I uh, started with pin one, then two, or three, and uh, always um, push the 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 tool uh, towards the pin to fix it, and then I pushed the pin all the way down, and followed uh, by the tool to uh, well, yes, uh, hold it in place. So let me continue until I'm done with all the five pins, and then we will continue completing the reassembling of the lock. All right, so I'm almost done. Um, here is the plug. Um, all the key pins are in place. And I think I know now why I filed it down. So when you have a close look to the, to the pins, you will see also that there is um, filing um, artifacts on the on the surface so i think they they just pinned it with with standard pins of of, of uh, equal length and then they file it down to to fit to the key so that they that they get a 
uh, clear shear line. All right, so let's put that thing together. Pull the key out. The housing is prepared. All right, so All right. Pull the tool out. Okay, looks good. Click. Uh, I won't uh, add uh, insert or, or put the put the um, clip here on camera again, but I will show it that the lock works. Lock is locked and works. Come out. So, all right, we're done. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like um, to make yourself uh, a tool like that, it's not that easy. And uh, I think you can make a nicer tool than me. But for me, that works. and. Just take um, any kind of uh, yeah metal that um, is appropriate. So windshield wiper or uh, other things could be um, could be also used. Bend it, file it down to the correct um, width and height, and then just try it out. All right. So thank you very much for watching and happy picking. Bye bye.